What's the lamest way that you injured yourself badly? Through my back out taking a shit. Might be time to consider adding a little fiber to the diet. I should have stated it was more from moving slash tweaking a certain when I reached for the toilet paper. But boy did it hurt lol. Yeah my husband slipped a disc doing practically the same thing he was reaching for the button to flush. And it was on top of the toilet causing him to tweak his back. I broke my arm just riding my bike on flat ground. I saw a shiny rock and turned my head to look at it and fell over. I was riding full speed down a hill once and a bee hit my forehead. Knocked me air over teacups. Wrecked the bike. Linklinison. I am up voting you. Just because you use the phrase ass over teacups. I don't think I've ever heard anyone but my husband use that phrase until now. Plot twist. It's your husband's secret reddit. While fear on their own secret reddit account. I broke my nose while opening the fridge. I was sleepy and stood too close. That's when I stopped the habit of night snacking. Gave myself a serious concussion when I didn't clear the top freezer and hit the very top of my head taking something out of the fridge. I couldn't drive for 2MO and had auditory hallucinations for about 2 years. It was such a ridiculous accident. <laughs> Dropped a chair on my face. Still got the scar 20 years later. Why were you carrying a chair? I was laying on the floor holding a fold up chair over me. It slipped and landed on my face. Just above my eye. I should add. I was about 9 or 10 at the time. Probably old enough to know better though. This sounds exactly like something a 9 year old would do. And exactly like the result I would expect. One semi loud sneeze. Popped a vessel in my nose. Had to go to the hospital. Because it bled like a faucet. This is why it's so important to always sneeze full volume. Try and bottle any of it up. And it'll find another way out. True. Now I'm all in on dad sneezes. Wwwachalhuaghal excuse me. The dust and pollen ahh. Ahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
My stepfather dumped the ash from the grill in the trash. Ended up setting the plastic garbage can on fire. I laughed way harder than I should have. I refused to take off a band-aid when I was around 6 years old. It got infected and they almost had to amputate my leg. Legs don't grow on trees. Avast. Matey, if you be a sailor know the seven seas upon a peg leg. Happen they do. You can use any type of tree for a peg leg. But if you want one with a joint, you'll need wood from a mahogany. This is one of the best crafted puns I have ever read. I salute you mister. Pun right. I fainted and shattered my foot by just getting out of bed. Seriously. Got up and went to the bathroom. Felt that wah 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 feeling. Grabbed a bottle of water then crumpled. Unconscious. In front of my fridge in my own apartment. I'd just moved in. Didn't even have furniture and had been sleeping on a bedroll till I could pick up my stuff. I broke three metatarsals clean through. Two chip fractures. Resulted in two plates and twelve screws. Didn't walk for almost six months. Coming from a lactose intolerant person, eating copious amounts of dairy to the point where I s my organs out then pass out on the bathroom floor, then subsequently wake up with a small piece of my forehead missing. Cheese is really good though. MMM 64 slices of American cheese. I think I'm blind. Have you been up all night eating cheese? By climbing a tree and just standing there and somehow slip and break my legs. Edit. It had been raining. And I was 7. I'm sorry but the mental image of some guy standing in a tree. Completely still. Suddenly slipping on nothing. And breaking his legs is just hilarious to me. Well. You're right. I tried to pee off the side of a hot tub. Because I was jealous. That my brother and his friends could do it. I'm female. I slipped and cracked open my chin on concrete. Were you 5 or 25 when this happened? Because one is funnier than the other. I'd be 25. 25 what? I have a giant scar on my ankle from shaving my legs drunk. I may or may not have tried to shave my pubis drunk. And may or may not have injured my crotch. I can neither confirm or deny I wasn't drunk. I can neither confirm or deny I wasn't drunk. Nor shaving my pubes. I've dislocated my shoulder multiple times high-fiving and twice getting out of bed. Is it true that once you dislocate it, it's easier to dislocate again? Seems like everybody dislocated it more than once. Very much so. Everything keeps getting stretched out each time. And there can even be bone loss slash damage from friction slash grinding. Like in my case, I've thrown it out 15 times and had 3 surgeries. Not me but a friend got drunk and punched a brick wall full force to prove how tough he was. The resulting damage to his hand left him permanently unable to fully close it. At the time he was very drunk and preaching about how harmful weed is because it destroys your body. My dad told me a similar story. They'd been drinking. Their sober ride is trying to drive them home. He sticks his hand out the window to punch a mailbox. Couldn't do sports anymore after all the extensive surgeries they had to do on his hand. It's wild how quickly your life can change. I know. Right? You never expect it coming from the mundane things you do every day. Like punching mailboxes barehanded from a moving vehicle. Even USBS California stops most of the time. And they're professionals. I laughed way too hard at this. When I was little I lived with my mom in a ranch house. And the whole house had this long and narrow hallway that ran through it. I thought it would be funny to run straight at my mom and park her off the wall to pass her in the hallway at a high speed. In reality my foot slipped off the wall. I tripped over her foot and went straight down into my left hand as I caught my fall awkwardly. Broke my wrist in two places and broke three fingers lol. Parker is where you go from pointer to point B as creative as possible, while pointer is delusion and point B is the hospital. I got a paper cut on my foot by walking past an open book. I'm gonna have to ask for details on this one. So there was an open book on the floor, and I was walking past it barefoot. The side of my foot grazed the corner of the book enough for a page up and slice it. Ouch. Worst paper cut I ever got was on the webbing between my left pointer and middle fingers. Didn't realize it was there until I used to have sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Also known as cut finder. 
as our electrician always getting little cuts or scrapes this pandemic has been rough on the hands.